Hi, welcome to our video on how to teach times tells in a classroom setting. We are excited that you will be using times tells with your students. This mnemonic memorization method is not only a super fun way for kids to master their times tables, but it also gives them a memorizational tool that can be applied throughout their educational years. Times Tales fills the needs for all students. It works for both the student that just needs to get their upper times tables memorized quickly and has also been proven to be highly effective for the struggling learner. In fact, our program is endorsed by national leading dyslexia expert Susan Barton and is used by many of her tutors across the country. Times Tales for the Classroom was developed with the help of 11 school teachers that tried it out with their students and then gave us feedback on different ways to present it in a classroom setting. You will have several options to choose from in your digital files to tailor the program to fit the individual needs of your students, whether it's one-on-one, -on -one, a small group setting, a large classroom, or even a workshop. The Times Tells method is based upon a six-step process. There are a few different ways that you can present these six steps to your class. The Times Tells program can be presented to your class by utilizing the PowerPoint slides, or the students can be led through each step by watching the video. If you choose to have the video teach the program, start by playing part one of the classroom edition to your class. Hannah, the host, will guide the students through all six steps of the program. Once the students get to the end... Since the key to the success of Times Tells is learning the stories, we suggest a heavy emphasis on the story discussion portion of the program. All right, the butterfly and the treehouse. Something was discovered. All right, ready? One, two, three. What is happening? And Mrs. Weeks, she sat on a chair. Are you ready? One, two, three. Twenty-eight. How many buttons did she reach for? Three. Three buttons. How many mittens? Two. Two mittens. Who kept the butterflies in the jar? This is pretty close. At what time did they let the butterflies go? One o'clock. How many butterflies were set free? Yay! Good job. On page 10, there is a story discussion guide with questions to ask the students. This step will reveal the level of retention the students have with the right, Times Tell stories. Mrs. Weeks sat on the chair and fish. She got two minutes and eight. Very good. Anyone else back there? It's very important that they have these stories down and in the right order before moving on. And six balloons. All right, let's all say it together. The chair got stuck in the treehouse after someone tied on three kites and six balloons. Anyone want to try it? Ready? After the six steps have been presented, there are a variety of reinforcements to choose from within your PDF printables. You will find that many students will score 100% on their tests after only one viewing of the video and working through only a few of the printables. However, some students may need a little extra review of the video and may need to work on a few more of the printable reinforcements located in your digital files. All the classroom editions come with an individual mini storybook that the student can put together and take home for an additional review of the stories. There is also a division bonus section at the end of the game show quiz in part one and part two. This is a great way for the visual learners to see the connection between division and multiplication. 
We are so excited for your students to try out this fun and unconventional way to master their upper times tables. Your students are going to love it.